Today we have some massive rumors flying in coming out of Tokyo Game Show in regards to, well, not only Nintendo Switch 2, but even the future of the Super Mario Bros. series, maybe related even to a game coming out very soon. So we have a lot of stuff to go over here, and you know what? We got full credits to give for this, some background information. That being said, I want to make sure... Then I remind you guys that, hey, we're on a road to 150,000 subscribers, and we're looking to have one of our biggest subscriber months of the year. So, hey, look, if you guys would subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it, especially if you enjoy the content. Drop a like as well, and you know what? Why not go ahead and hit that bell icon to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Again, we'll have a live stream tonight as well, but we'll probably go even deeper in on this information. Now, where is this all coming from on the Rumor Express? Or, you know, you got the Halloween ghost boat behind me. Hey, you know where it's coming from? It's coming from a leaker who gained a little bit of notoriety a couple years ago in Nash Weedle. Now, Nash Weedle is a Spanish leaker who was leaking information related to Metroid Dread a couple of years ago, before, long before it came out. And he's also gotten a few other things correct over the years as well. Now, obviously, not a 100% track record here. There's very few people that can make claims to that, like Pioro. We all know Pioro is like the MVP of leakers at this point. But anyways, Nash Weedle at least has some sort of semblance of a track record, specifically with Nintendo leaks, and claims to have had contacts that were actually at Tokyo Game Show to see what Nintendo was doing behind the scenes. Now, again, we expected this week to hear some information from Tokyo Game Show, and I doubt that this is the end of what we're going to hear. Again, we don't hear about any specific demos being shown and stuff in this information. We hear other details coming from conversations that were had. Now, again, take all this stuff with a grain of salt. This guy doesn't have a 100% track record, and maybe you don't believe him at all, and that is okay. It is just supposed to be taken as speculation at this point. So let's dive into exactly what he said, because it's a pretty long tweet thread he put out there, and we're using the translations that are available thanks to Google through the X application. All right, so here's how it goes. He says, Leak Express Special Tokyo Game Show Edition. Super Mario World's Wonder is at the beginning of a saga. Panic Button now works with Nintendo Switch Shoe, and some people have already seen Metroid Prime 4. Oh, by the way, Xbox staff was at one of the Switch 2 demos. What? So, he goes on to say, During the Tokyo Game Show, there have been meetings between developers and much debate about the next Nintendo console. A person from the sector who traveled to Japan shared with me everything that was going on behind the scenes at the event and what was being talked about in the corners. First up, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the start of a saga. After testing the game, he took the opportunity to ask questions to people who have participated in the development. Apparently, there is a lot of discarded material that did not fit into this game, but they told them that they are going to take advantage of it later. Of course, that could be DLC, but yeah, obviously it could be referenced that they're going to make a series out of this the same way they did with the new Super Mario Bros. series. Next up, he goes into Panic Button, now works with Nintendo Switch 2. Speaking with a non-Japanese developer about the future of Switch 2, she asked how easy it is to port her games to the new Nintendo console, and she directly answered that Panic Button is already taking care of one of them. Now, this isn't too big of a surprise. We had heard some rumblings, I would say, a week or two ago that the port studios, the popular ones that port games to the Nintendo Switch, were canceling Nintendo Switch port jobs in the future, seemingly moving on to Nintendo Switch 2, although we never got that stuff confirmed. It was at least rumblings out there of this, and Panic Button was one of those studios. So hearing that Panic Button's probably starting to work on Nintendo Switch 2 ports isn't too surprising. Now, some people have already seen Metroid Prime 4. Again, this is coming from him. A person close to Retro Studios commented on the Petite Committee that they are in the middle of marketing planning. This person also said that the technical deployment of the game is overwhelming, but there are also many playable new features. So they're already planning the marketing cycle for the game. Quite interesting, at least if this is to be taken at face value. It does suggest Metro Prime 4 is clearly coming out next year. Is it a cross-gen title? None of that seems to be talked about here, but since he's talking about what they've heard from behind the scenes and Nintendo's focusing on Nintendo Switch 2 behind the scenes, Maybe it means it's cross-gen. Maybe it's Switch 2 exclusive. I have no idea. Now, 
Getting into the last part here, and this deals with Xbox, he goes on to say that Xbox staff at the Switch 2 demos. Yes, there were demonstrations behind closed doors. I'm assuming it's the same demos, but I guess we don't have that confirmation yet. Anyways, it seems that this time in a more discreet way. So they were even more discreet than Game Developers Conference? That's interesting. A person from the Xbox community commented that he was very surprised with what he had seen and that third-party support will be assured. Now, again, we had just heard from a more reputable source yesterday, or well, it was the day before, either way, over the weekend, that there were going to be a lot of, you know, in 12 to 18 months, this game is going to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PC, and Nintendo Switch 2. So we already had sort of a reputable report out there that it was about to get a bunch of massive third-party support. But this is obviously, hey, that's talking about down the line. This is talking about what's being talked about behind the scenes by Xbox themselves being like, damn, this is an impressive piece of tech Nintendo is showing. And they're not even concerned with third-party support. It's clearly going to get it. Now, obviously, the grander question is, why would Nintendo want to show this device to Microsoft? They do have a couple of games they have on the platform. And obviously, they have the Activision Blizzard deal in place. So you can understand why maybe they want Microsoft to be at it. Also, maybe they want to convince Microsoft to bring even more games over and be like, hey, you know, you have other games at, you know, Bethesda. You have other games at Activision Blizzard when that deal closes. Our system can handle those games. Can we get them, please? I know many of us are probably like, oh, give us Game Pass. Give us Halo. And yeah, look, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I do think that Nintendo Switch 2 is clearly shaping up, at least according to the rumors, to be something that is going to surprise many people. So I'm just going to sit back and let this percolate in my brain for a bit. Again, we'll have a deeper discussion on this tonight on the Nintendo Prime Podcast. I need to let these thoughts percolate. I also need to get to some other videos today. But hey, you know what? That's now 11 straight videos about Nintendo Switch 2. The streak apparently hasn't been broken yet. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you guys in that next video.